Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're returning and if you're new here, welcome. My name is Rachel and I'm a reseller on sites like eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. And today I'm doing something I have not done in a long time. I am unboxing a ThreadUp DIY Denim 50 pound mystery box. So if you wanna see what they sent me, definitely stick around. So Thread Up Mystery Boxes, the DIY boxes, uh, were my jam 2019, maybe even into 2020. Um, but I haven't ordered them in a long time because they really went downhill after that. And I used to send a lot of stuff to Thread Up, get the credits, and get the mystery boxes, you know, just to keep things rotating. Um, but for like two years, I couldn't get labels. So I'm able to get labels again, and um, I kind of just want to see how their mystery boxes are these days. The denim one has always been my favorite. Uh, when it was good, it was really good. But now that I can send in stuff again, I want to know, is it worth maybe, you know, using the credits to buy mystery boxes versus taking the cash? So I'll show you what's in here. We'll do it together. Um, if you like reseller content, certainly consider subscribing to my channel. I do lots of unboxing videos, almost probably almost 100% at this point. I rarely go thrifting anymore. Everything that comes into my reseller business is online thrifted or online liquidation. I always unbox here on this channel. I show you what I get and I come back 90 days later and let you know um, whether or not it was a good box based on how I actually did with the stuff inside. So hit that like button too if you could. That really does help me out. Um, so let's get right into it. So this was the 50 pound DIY denim box. Listed on the site at $50 plus $9.99 shipping plus $3.60 tax, which is what I paid for this box. So I don't know how many items because it is by pound. So, it, you know, we'll have to see what exactly is in here. Um, it is a DIY box. So typically with DIY boxes, at least in the past, half or more has been like not usable. But because it's only $50, even if I can only list half of what's in here, it still ends up being pretty profitable. So hopefully I can get a good, you know, 10, 15 pieces. I don't really want like a ton of work necessarily. Um, and if I can't sell it all, it's okay. So I'll show you what's in here. I will get it listed on at least eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. I cross post using list perfectly. It makes it really easy for me to get stuff on multiple platforms really quickly. So. Um, here, let me, this is my, and it's so heavy. I've got my classic thread up tissue paper on the top, which I will save and reuse. Okay. And here's the denim. Oh gosh, it's so heavy. Oh gosh. Okay. I don't even know how I got it up on this desk. All right. So I'm just going to dive right in and show you what's inside. Um, these are RSQ, the girlfriend jeans. Um, I don't know what this brand is. I guess I'll have to look it up, but they feel very cheap. Um, that's another thing with these mystery boxes. I end up with brands I have no clue what they are. So it forces me to do some research and get out of my comfort zone. Okay, I'll take these. Um, these are current Elliot. Uh, what's the style? The rolled skinny. Well, they're not currently rolled. I'll have to roll them up. Um, not the best style, but I will still list them. I mean, I'm sure I could still get 20, 30 bucks for them. Um, so those, those will definitely get listed. That's a good, good start from here. These are definitely cheap, whatever they are. Uh, jeggings. They're just jeggings. No explanation needed, just jeggings. Yeah, those will go probably to donate. Um, so basically anything I can't list, I will either look and see if it's a brand thread up takes and potentially send it back to them. I don't know exactly how they decide what goes in these boxes. It could be their rejects, but it could also be stuff that didn't sell in the allotted time frame, and then they weren't claimed. So I, I think some of it could get sent back and potentially sold again, depending on what it is. Oh, Zara. Um, wow, these are, these have the highest rise. Like these are definitely high rise baggy jeans. Um, I don't love Zara. It's kind of like Old Navy or like Target brands to me anyway. 
I, it has to be the right piece for me to want to list it. These are a size zero, but because of the style, as long as there's no like staining on them that I can find, I will, uh, I will absolutely list those. Here's some more white. Oh, this is actually a jacket. Oh, okay. So this is the limited and it's actually new with tag. So I don't know how well the limited stuff does these days, but because it's new with tag, I'm certainly going to list it. It's a size large too. So that's, that's pretty good. Remember I paid 50, well, $63 for this entire box. So some of it, I know I'm not going to be able to list, but if I can get a, a few good pieces like that, that's great. Um, just black. I probably won't list these because they're skinny jeans. Uh, I've tried listing these in the past. I know from like thread up mystery boxes and they don't do so great. So um, those probably will get donated. Here's a pair of shorts, Tinseltown. What size are these? 11. Yeah, those are going to get donated. I've tried selling this brand too with no luck, Unina. So I probably will donate these as well. Unless ThreadUp takes this brand, I'll send them back. Um, theoretically, and actually I will say, so far we've got a lot to go. But so far I haven't seen any like major flaws. Um, one of my biggest problems with the ThreadUp boxes I purchased in the past is that they send heavily flaw items, which is their right. Like it is a DIY denim box and it is marketed toward people that do upcycling. So those flaws are to be expected. And when I'm pulling through this, and I just want you to know, I'm not, when I say I'm not listing something, it may not necessarily be because it's not listable. It's just that I don't personally think based on my business model and the other stuff I have in my inventory to store and to list, it may not be worth my time. Um, not to say that if your business model is different or if you have less inventory on hand, um, it, you know, you could probably list some of this stuff too. Um, this is Forever 21 and this is a denim dress. I am not gonna list that, no. I don't, I do not, not even for like the purpose of a 90 day video, I don't, I don't list Forever 21 because it's not worth my time to get $10 or whatever I would get. Um, same with H&M. These are H&M jeans. And actually, these are the first pair I will say are pretty like damaged. Yeah, actually, I'm not even going to burden my local thrift store with these. These will probably go in the garbage just because of the how worn they are in the in the crotch area. These are also H&M. These are heavily puckered. See, I shouldn't have said anything. I cursed myself. I shouldn't have said anything. These are heavily puckered as well, so I'm not going to be listing those. Um, these are Adriana Goldschmidt, I can see, size 31. But these are pretty, yeah, these are pretty hit up too. Man, I totally cursed myself. I totally cursed myself. Um... I'm not gonna, those will get trashed. Okay, here's some Torrid. I love selling Torrid. I will never complain about Torrid in a mystery box. These are jeggings, size 18. Again, not the most current style. However, um, definitely still sellable. These are John Galt. John Galt, which is Brandy Melville, which I, I'm i old and I don't understand the Brandy Melville concept. And therefore, I also don't understand John Galt. These will get donated because I'm not dealing, not dealing with it. Um, Hudson. Okay, these are Hudson jeans. And these are good size, size 30. Um, okay, there is a style number, but it doesn't have a style name, but they're definitely flare. They're not, just judging by the pockets, here, I'll show you the pockets. These are not like a current style, but they are probably in style, but they're an older, an older model. That's okay, I will list those. Oh, what's this? Oh, these are... 21 men, which is, I think, Forever 21's men's line. Uh, yeah, 
I'm gonna put that with the women's Forever 21 to get donated. Um, these are also Adriana Goldschmied. Oh, you know, this is the story of our lives in January, right? Either that or this person had a pregnancy to hold their button together with a hair tie. <laughs> um, but actually, aside from that, which this will easily just come off, right? That can get trashed. Um, aside from that, these look okay. I mean, they're, they're definitely like not new, but I don't see any major damage or puckering. So these I will list. Skinny jeans don't sell for top dollar anymore, but they still sell. People are looking for the styles that they like that they can't get in the stores anymore. Oh, here's a pair of Levi's. Oh, these are wedgie jeans. What's wrong with them? Hmm. These are wedgie straight jeans. That's fantastic. That's fantastic. Oh, what size? What size are these? Oh, that's the problem. Well, the, so the size, the size is cut out. That's why. Um, oh, that's a bummer. So I don't like selling jeans where the size is cut out. Um, it just probably for the same reason ThreadUp doesn't like to. It you know it's it leaves too much room for error. I'm not going to list those just for that reason. Um, here's a denim jacket from Old Navy, size extra small petite. Is this a current? How, how old is this? Old Navy, always the tag on the bottom here will give you the uh, date, the season. Um, this is 1121, so this is not that old. Um, but this is going to sit. If I try to list this, it's going to sit. So I'm not going to. Um, cowgirl turf? Cowgirl tough? What is this? These are definitely dated. Um, these remind me of like Rock Revival or like even Miss Me kind of. They're definitely old and they definitely are not in the best shape. Like they have a lot of wear, especially in the back. So um, I've never heard of this brand, but just based on those factors, I'm not gonna list those. Oh, my absolute favorite ever, <laughs> Everlane. Of course, if you've watched my channel ever before, you know I sell a ton of Everlane because I get those in liquidation boxes. These are a size 14 and they are the cotton slim pant. So yeah, these are not actually jeans. These are a pair of Everlane's casual pants, but um, I will take them because that's an easy sale. This is, seriously? Wow. Let's see what's wrong with this. Lejeans. What is wrong with it? Let's play a game. What is wrong with this jacket? Because it's white, so I'm a little skeptical. Okay, so there is some dirt on it a little bit here. I'll show you in a second. Okay, there's a little bit of like, because it's white, it's going to show everything. There's a little dirt right there. But otherwise, there are some holes in it on the sleeves, but I 100% believe that that is supposed to be there. It's symmetrical on both sides. So what size is this? Size small. Mm. Okay, um, that is fantastic. We are only about halfway through the box. This is fun, what is this? Whatever this is has no marking. Oh, here. Anna Sui. Okay, this says Anna Sui. And it has, it's like a sample tag. It doesn't have a size on it. This is going to be a research piece because I feel like I've heard of the brand. I feel like it's probably a high-end brand. But I don't know if that particular item is worth listing. It is, I mean... It's got a really cool, like, embroidered detail. So maybe something like this I can list with just measurements. Tops, tops I'm okay with. It's not like it's a common brand and the, the tags will cut off. 
All right, here's a pair of shorts. These are Massimo, which was sold at Target. I don't even think it is anymore. Those will get donated. Here's a pair of maternity shorts. Uh, Hofish, H-O-F-I-S-H, -S Hofish. So I'm gonna set these aside so that I can research because I've never heard of that brand. Not to say that it's good or bad, I don't know. Here's a, ooh, Sherpa line jacket, what is this? Oh, this is a Levi's. Levi's, size extra small, Sherpa line. Sherpa lined jacket. Okay, yeah, that's great. I'll take that. Old Navy Sky High Wide Leg. What size are these? Six. Oh. I was going to say maybe if they were my size, I would try them on, but those will just get donated. Here's some more incredibly dated jeans. Maurice's. Oh, and they're Capri jeans. Yes. 2000, what, six called. They want their denim back. I'm not going to list those. Uh, Rue 21, again, Junior's brand, super cheap. I won't be listing those. Um. Oh, I don't know if these are going to be worth listing or not. Or oh, this is a skirt, actually. Converse. Size 10. This is probably very old. It's like a chambray denim pencil skirt. I'm going to research and see if that's worth listing. I, I don't know. Here's another pair of Levi's. These are 501s, button fly. Size 25 by 30. They look good to me. Copper Flash. I don't know what this brand is, but it feels very cheap, like Forever 21, Rue 21. So I won't list those. Same with these, whatever it is, is very cheap. Uniqlo, yep, that sounds about right. Those will get donated. Ooh, elastic waist. These don't have a brand or anything. They're just like grandma jeans, which apparently are in style right now, but I'm not going to try to sell those. Angel Kiss right there with Forever 21. These are so paper thin. Those won't get listed. Express. These are mid-rise leggings size 18. Huh. How old are these? These Express also has the year 3 2018. Hmm. I might actually, because they're such a, a big size. Oh, maybe not, because there's there's some pilling in the crotch. And I wouldn't list those. I wouldn't list a pair of jeans in that condition any other time. So those will get donated. These are Vigas. I used to do so well with this brand back in the day, but I haven't seen it in a long time. Um, mostly because I haven't been thrifting. And even still, my my local thrift stores, I would never pay their prices for these. Um, they're a little puckered. I, I kind of want to try them just for fun, just to see if I can sell them. They're kind of puckered a little tiny bit. They're size 30, so they're a decent size. Uh... I don't know. I'm going to put those in the pile for maybe. Oh, American Eagle, my jam. These are midi shorts in a size six. I will list these for summer upcoming here. Those should be a decent sale. Universal Thread. This is like a denim button down. I know Universal Thread sometimes sells quickly, but I'm not going to list those um, just for the sake of my time. Cat and Jack. Cat and Jack is a kid's brand, and it's sold at Target. So I think these are boys. These are a size 12. These are boys. 
So I'll just go ahead and actually I might put these in my Once Upon a Child bin because Once Upon a Child has been buying a lot of stuff that I take to them. And since now I have a baby and she's growing like a weed, I've been taking her clothes up there. So I might as well just like not even count them for profit. Just, just, just put them in the bag. Okay, so these are Liverpool. I've heard people say they have really good luck with this brand. I was going to say maybe I would try it just to see, but there, there's puckering on the crotch, so I'm not going to. MNG. These are high-rise, wide-leg. I don't like selling this brand either, so these will get donated. I've got enough stuff that I think is great that I don't have to necessarily like pull out stuff like that. These are also Zara, but these are these are pretty puckered too, so I won't list those. Vintage Slim. What are you? What is the brand? J. Crew. These are very old J. Crew jeans. How old are these? J. Crew also has the date on the tag here. Um, usually. These might be so old that they don't. Like, these are seriously old. I'm not going to list these either. I might be able to actually send these ones back to thread up. Nah. Okay, just a couple more things here. Here's another denim jacket. Oh, I might try to list this one. This one is guess. Size extra small. I really don't have great luck with denim jackets though. They tend to sit. I mean, maybe in the springtime I'll get a little boost on them, but uh, whatever, I'll list it. It's guess. Some Aeropostale, very old Aeropostale low rise mini shorts. I'm not gonna list those. And the last, there's one more pair of jeans. They're, oh, J brand. Maybe good. Let's see, pucker test. Okay, no puckering, that's good. These are the super skinny starless in a size 28. So yeah, I probably will list these um, given the, the condition. Again, not the best style, not the most current style, but condition wise, I, I would be happy with listing those. Um, okay, so usually I count how many items, but I really am not, not super interested in how many items are here uh, total, but I am curious to see how many I am going to list. So let me let me count and I will uh, let you know what I think at the end. Okay, so I pulled out a total of 17 items that I intend to list. Uh, that Well, that includes the two or three maybes. So it will be 14 to 17 items, depending on if I decide to list the maybes. Um, but remember, my cost for this entire box was $63.70 after the shipping and taxes. So was this a good box? Um, absolutely. I, uh, I'm, I'm very impressed with this box, you know, and that's how it goes with thread up boxes though. You get a really, really good one and then it makes you want to buy more. And then the next ones you get aren't so good. So I don't know that that's going to happen, but I feel like that ends up being my luck, but I am very happy with this box. And, um, Based on this, I think I'm going to do very, very well. Um, when I get a mystery box with a very low cost of goods with secondhand items, my goal is to triple my money. So I really want to make my $63 back plus $63 twice over in pure profit after the fees and everything. And I think that should be very easy to do maybe with just selling a couple of these. So, but the real question is, will they sell? I mean, obviously, um, I, I can say what I think is going to happen, but you know, it, it always just depends on whether or not they actually sell. So certainly consider subscribing to my channel. I will come back in 90 days after it's all been listed and had a chance to sell. And I'll let you know how I actually did. Let me know if you've ordered this box recently, please. Um, I, like I said, it's been a very long time since I ordered a thread up box. Is mine like 
good just because like it's a fluke or have they been generally good lately? I, I definitely would like to know how your experience has been, not even with just the denim. If there's another box that's done really well for you lately, maybe I'll consider ordering another one, a different one. So definitely let me know in the comments. Hit that like button on the way out if you don't mind. It really does help out my channel a lot. And that's it, friends. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you next time.